51st, ladies and gents. So we always put this on when we're gonna move stands, and that's what we're doing today. The stand to my right is where I shot my buck last year. The problem is that I had to call to that buck just to get him to come in to range. Every deer that we see in this stand comes from deeper back in this hardwoods. There's pines back there, so it's really thick bedding areas. And there's a food plot back there. And they work their way out here to the beans this year, hopefully. And last year it was corn. This woods is littered with acorns. So we're going to move this stand back further to where we see most of the deer movement. And while we do it, we're going to show you a trick that makes hanging stands for us a lot easier. Okay, so we pulled that stand and sticks off of this tree. We're gonna end up moving it that way, but while we're right here with one stick remaining on the tree, about five feet off, my, my head is about, I don't know, seven feet off the ground. My feet are like two and a half or three feet off the ground. I wanted to show you the trick that we had mentioned about how we hang our tree stands. The point behind this is that Mobile hunting has been so big the last several years, and that's great for people who hunt public land or who have large tracts of private land and only wanna buy one set of sticks and stands and be able to hunt wherever they want to. But if you're like us, you probably have a ton of old, heavy tree stands lying around your basement that you could still hunt out of if you chose to. And they don't really make a bracket system that you could strap to the tree and then attach those old stands to the bracket. There are stands on the market, like uh, I think who makes some of those? Millennium might make a, a bracket system, but these old stands don't have that system. So our trick to make it easier, first we always have a lineman's belt attached. Whenever I climb a tree, I use that lineman's rope as I go up, as I hang the stand, and then the stand that I want to hang, I have attached to a bow pull-up rope, or you could use any piece of rope, that's attached to my lineman's loop on my safety harness. So I'm always attached to the tree, and I always have my stand ready to go so that once I get the sticks up, I don't have to come back down the tree, get the stand, and then hang it. And we use one of these old guys. If you hunted in the 80s or early 90s before they had climbing sticks, I'm sure you use these, and they screw into the tree as a step to be able to ascend to your tree stand. And we don't use them that way anymore, but we use them like a bracket because of the angle that they make against a tree. You can literally slide the stand right over top of that and the stand will stay there while you get your ratchet straps ready to go. This is super simple and we'll show you how to do it. So I've got one step on the tree. Normally we would wanna to try to go another step so that you can go directly off your last step at the same height as your tree stand. That way it gives you something that you can hold on to as you're climbing into that stand, even though most of the time we have a lineman's rope attached to us or a safe line that goes all the way up to the tree so that you're constantly attached. But we don't wanna put that stick here just for demonstration purposes. So this, I believe, is an old oak tree. Um, and I'm gonna take this, and obviously you can't do this on most public land, but on private land, we don't have a lot of public lot options to hunt. So on private land, it's totally fine. And you just take that peg and you jam it into the tree and then start your rotations. One nice thing about these pegs is that the, the bit that's on the end of it that you screw into the tree is really aggressive. So it grabs onto that bark and allows you to get that sunk into the tree super simply. And 
and then once I get that set where I want it, stand height, I'll grab my pull-up rope and I will pull the stand up into the tree, like so. And I'll open it up and then obviously for this demonstration my lineman's belt would not be here because of the height that we would normally be hanging the stand at, but for demonstration purposes, just slide the stand right over top of that. So now I'm hands free and I have two hands to be able to throw the ratchet strap around the tree. I don't have to worry about trying to hold the stand in place or getting to a spot where I rest the stand on my knee. I can literally lean into the tree, throw that strap around to myself, hook it on the stand, and then pull it tight. The key to doing this properly is to make sure that the peg that you put in the tree to hold your stand is angled up away from the ground at an incline so that the stand doesn't fall off the end of this. You can see it slides around a little bit, but it's not gonna slide off of that peg. So once I get the ratchet strap tight to where I want it to be, now I've got the stand ready to go and I can put my second strap on here and tighten it down to the tree and I don't have to worry about it. It's not gonna fall anywhere. The strap is holding it to the tree. The peg is holding it up off the ground and you pretty much just have to put one more strap on, cinch it down tight, and then you can hunt out of it. And that's how we make sure that we can hang stands with the ratchet straps hands free and not have to worry about supporting the weight of the stand when we're trying to hang sets and be safe. And now we're gonna take this stand down and go hang a new set. Last stick is off the tree and we're gonna move that way. So we got a tree picked out. The prevailing wind is normally from the northwest or southwest. So the southwest is that way, northwest is that way, straight west is that direction. And we know we get deer that move along this transition edge. You can see it right here in the camera. This is like a super open acorn flat. There's hardly any vegetation on the ground. And then just over there, just behind us here, we have a bunch of green thick vegetation. So the idea is that the buck that I saw came from that direction and he cut this corner and ended up going down into that little drainage ditch behind me here. So hopefully if we're up high enough in this tree, our scent can carry out over top of everything and we'll be in a good spot to hunt these deer. Around the tree it goes. Switch that bad boy tight. it in place. Here's your first step. That's a wrap on that new stand. Two of them up there, about 25 feet. We should be good to go and ready to hunt.